Hello, my fellow anti bonafide fighters, and welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal with Conus Bot. Last time we rescued the director from the Golden Rock Underground, and today we're going to finally, finally put an end to Team Rocket's reign of terror at Golden Rock Radio Tower. Woohoo! We've gotten the card key from the director, so now we can actually head back inside and finish off the radio tower, which is, you know, the exciting part of the Golden Rock Radio Tower takeover. I already pretty much mentioned that the underground is pretty much like, uh, it's just there, but the radio tower, heck, heck yeah, die hard apartment star, long, tall, very tall building takeover. Of course it's gonna be cool, anyway, it's the card key slot. Once you have the card key, you can pretty much enter the final area of the radio tower and put an end to this plot. I Don't get me wrong, I love the radio tower, but it does drag for a little while. Why did the shutter open? Did you have something to do with this? Hmm... I wager a 75 to 25 bet. The 25% is on the off chance the power of the building goes out and all the electromagnetic gates open. Which I doubt will happen. Anyway, yeah, level 24 Radicate, no, these guys don't learn anything. <laughs> I'm serious. A total radio tower takeover is pretty tough at times, the grunts are pathetic at best. Hor hor horribly, horribly, horribly underleveled at worst. But yeah, I already given up all of my complaints and thoughts on the radio tower takeover in the previous two episodes, so nothing much to say. This Radio Tower Takeover shouldn't take you that long to complete, at most about an hour I say. It's the underground section that kinda lags a bit for me. The actual scaling the Radio Tower is the really 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 cool portion of the Team Rocket Takeover. But anyway, we're gaining a bunch of levels today, gee, look at that defense. I'm done for! Hey, I bet you are. What now? What? You made it past our men in the underground? How could you? Look at you guys, having no faith at all in anything. Anyway, what's down here? This is an optional one, but I'm gonna fight them regardless. Don't I think Pokemon are cute? Is that the Whitney coat? I think my Pokemon are cute after they beat yours. <laughs> okay, nice subversion there, nice subversion. I thought they were gonna say, Pokemon are super cute. You know that that, that coat has reached meat status by now. Anyway, yeah, Ekans. Nothing much to say about it, we already fought our box by this point. These guys are pretty... I sort of wonder if these guys are hiding. I mean like, they have a lot of very 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 powerful rocket grunts in the uh, underground and the other portion, but these guys after the shutter, they are pathetic. Anyway, looks like we have Oddish here. Gee, I wonder who is going to roast the Oddish. Yes, I have Flame Whale. I'm not afraid to send out Basil now. Basil hasn't had much screen time before the Team Rocket Radio take Tower takeover, but now this beast will destroy. Flame Whale, as I already mentioned, is actually better in Pokemon Gold Silver Crystal compared to its remix Heart Gold Soul Silver for Typhlosion and Quillava, because the physical special split actually nerfed Flame Whale. Oops. For Typhlosion at least, because Typhlosion's actually has higher special attacks, so yes. Flame Whale becoming physical actually wound up screwing it over, so as to say the least. Anyway, let's send out Ekans. Another Ekans. Nothing much to say about it really. This is, I believe, the final Team Rocket grunt in the Radio Tower takeover, because after this, it's all Rocket Executives, which means this is gonna be the last time we hear this theme in all of Johto, because as I already mentioned, the Rocket Executives do not have this theme. Which, believe me, is sad. It is very, very sad indeed. Why? Why Why would Rocket Executives not have this theme? I actually would have thought they fixed this in Crystal, but no, even in Crystal, this bug still remains. It only got fixed in the remix Heart Gold Soul Silver. Thank goodness. Can you imagine how anti-climactic it is facing a Team Rocket Executive with the regular Johto Trainer theme playing? Don't get me wrong, the regular Johto Trainer theme is cool, but this theme is also cool. It just seems off. That's how I feel. Oh no, they're so useless! But they're cute. You said they were cute. I love my beautiful self. Who cares about Pokemon? Gee, that's mean. Aw, poor meow. M oh, it's DJ Mary. <laughs> Why? Why do I have to suffer through this? Meow, help me! Eh, uh, Melf is doing nothing. Alright, let's switch. If this is the trainer I'm thinking of, I'm gonna switch Maggie in front because I believe this guy is actually pretty tough. 
Oh boy, here it comes. Stop! I'm known as the Team Rocket Fortress! You're not taking another step. Ooh, a fortress, eh? I wonder how many Pokemon this guy has. Actually, no lie, the Rocket Executives are much, much harder than the uh, Team Rocket Grunts. Okay, this guy has one Golbat, but its level is ridiculous. 36! That's higher level than Jasmine Steelix. It's probably not as strong though after I thunder shock it in the face, but seriously speaking, that's pretty mean. It's pretty dang mean. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> that, that health, that, look at that health, look at that health. Yeah, this guy could potentially be a bit of a threat if you're not prepared for him. He is Executive Proton in the remix. H has the same ridiculously high level goal bet, I believe. I forget. But there he goes. The fortress came down! You've earned my respect, so here's some advice. It's not too late. You can still turn back. Fine. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> Why would I? I'm about to finish this off. Fifth Floor, Studio One. Ooh. They both say the same thing. What's the point of having two signs then? Game, please. Anyway, I think I want Jason in front for this, if I'm not wrong. Oh boy, here it begins. Remember me from the hideout in Mahogany Town? I lost then, but I won't this time. Yep, it's Executive Ariana again. Final battle, uh, not too much of a threat again. Has the almost the exact same Pokemon, I believe, except, um... Yeah, fully evolved this time, and higher level, the typical thing. On the whole, Team Rocket's Radio Tower Takeover isn't that bad, I'm not gonna lie. The Rocket Executives are the only guys that will probably give you trouble, honestly, in the whole of this thing. Because besides that, ooh, you stupid troll. Besides that, nothing much else really to it. I mean, yeah. I'm, I was really, really underleveled for most of the game, and yet I'm still able to wreck much of this place. Again, point. What is it with this game? Normally I have such bad luck with Poison Sting poisoning me, but in this game, very, very rarely does it happen. Of course, I get the critical hit right there. Thanks, Jason. Thanks a lot. Okay, next up we have Vile Plume. I'm going to be switching to Basil for this one. Nice. Nicery. Maybe we can get Basil to evolve into Typhlosion. Maybe, just a passing thought. I don't know, I don't think I'm... Yeah, I probably won't be able to do it this episode. Maybe next episode. We'll see. Poor, poor Vileplume's gonna get wrecked. I really do like Vileplume though, it has a, such a nice design. My brother actually has a shiny Vileplume in his Pokemon Rs file. Oh, you... Really, you really think that's gonna do anything to me? Ha ha ha, nope. Poor, poor guy. What? That... That's it. From now on, I'm just gonna use Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel for the win. That was pathetic. I'm not gonna lie, that was really, really, really pathetic on Basil's end. See? This is why I didn't use you for so long until you got Flame Wheel, Basil. Are you really gonna disappoint me again? Don't you dare disappoint me. Don't you dare disappoint me. Anyway, another Murkrow. Nothing much to it. Nothing much to it. I think I might as well just experience stall the guy. I mean, I I don't know what to do. So you need some experience as well. So I'm just like giving experience to the lower level team members at this rate. To hell with the effort values. Look at that. That actually did a lot. But whatever. Eat a hit butt in the face. That didn't do much! Zio, why? Am I really getting wrecked by a Murkrow? That's it. A thunder shock to the face. Oh, are you joking me, Pursuit? I had no idea, no Pursuit. Well, there. What is it with Zio keeping. I want Zio to evolve via happiness. Why do I keep faint? Why does Zio keep fainting on me? Why does this game hate me? Why does this game not have Mareep? Ah, uh, whatever. Nothing much to it. No, I should have just sent out Maggie from the start or something at this rate. <laughs> this can't be happening! I fought hard, but I still lost! Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Tonus, isn't it? A brat like me won't appreciate the magnificence of Team Rocket. That's too bad, I really admire your power. Yeah, she really does. In the remake, she actually says, It's such a shame, if you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an executive. Which, believe me, would be cool. It's like that one team- It's like that one fan game where they, like, say, 
Hey, you wanna join us at Nugget Bridge? Heck yes, now let's wreck some stuff! Oh, you managed to get this far. You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio station and announce our comeback! That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are going to regain our former glory. I really like that line. <laughs> I won't allow you to interfere with our plans. So here we have the final rocket executive in the radio tower takeover and pretty much of Team Rocket actually. Uh, Executive Archer. He is a fire type spammer. Which I have to admit is pretty nice because there aren't a lot of fire type trainers in Yolo but... By this point, you should have a water type mon, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get the C in the first place, so basically... Spamming Surf is the way to go. He's actually pretty dang strong, his levels are pretty high. Yeah, level 33 Hound Jower, that's, that's pretty nuts, I gotta admit. Anyway, next up we have... Coughing. Yeah, I really know how to take out the Coughings. Like I don't know how to take out the Coughings. Send out Maggie. Abuse their very low special defense by hitting them with a thunder shock. And furthermore, to to add insult to injury, get defense effort values for Maggie. Yeah, I pretty much know it already because everyone and their mother spams coughing in this freaking place. So yes, I pretty much know the strategy of taking out coughing by now. It's like seriously speaking. Anyway, another thunder shock. What? Smoke screen, how dare you? How dare smoke screen do this to me? Other than that, yeah, this is the last, this is the last guy we're to take out in the Team Rocket Tower, Team Rocket Radio Tower, Golden Rod Radio Tower. See, I'm, I'm even used to calling the radio, I'm even used to associating the Radio Tower with Team Rocket by this point because as I already mentioned, this, this portion of the game is really cool. Level 35 Houndoom, that's pretty dang nice. I believe it's level 38 in the remix. I'm not too sure. Hits pretty hard. Oh gosh, not the flinch. Oh no, not the smart, don't poison me, please, please, please. Yeah, there we go. I believe that should be a 1 or 2 hit KO. Because if Houndoom isn't taken out, we might have a bit of a situation here. Oh joy. Yeah, I think I want to play it safe and heal up Julian. Because I already mentioned this thing hits pretty hard. And no matter what it does to me, it, pre it wouldn't be super effective against Basil anyway, so yeah, let's see... Like, uh, yes, look at that! I have so many lemonades now. I think I was like, after the Jasmine Gym battle, I pretty much went to Golden Rock and stocked up by the dozen because I don't want to run out of healing items again. Ooh, that's pretty strong actually, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, same type attack bonus, Bite from Houndoom hurts. Actually, I believe it's because Bite is a special attack in this game, and Houndoom's special attack is actually higher, so... Go figure! Come on, don't do this to me, game. Ah! If you had flinched, Julian, if you had flinched, I would be mad. Anyway, yep, that's it. That's it for Executive Archer. We've taken out every single Team Rocket member who's hijacked the whole of Golden Rock City. Every last one of them. All of them and their Rattas and their Zubats and their coughing. It's all gone now, finally. No, forgive me, Giovanni. He's not gonna forget here. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I wasn't up to the test after all. Like Giovanni did before me, I will just spend Team Rocket here today. Farewell. Alright, bye. As I already mentioned, Team Rocket really don't do much in Jodo. They are probably like one of the most underwhelming villainous teams in this game, in the entire series actually. Conus, thank you! Your courageous actions have saved Pokemon nationwide! Again, I don't... I like how they just mentioned the save Pokemon nationwide as an afterthought to getting Giovanni back. I mean like, it's more like Giovanni... getting Giovanni back is the main point and... Oh man, we could hijack the radio tower and play radio waves that cause everyone to go brain nuts crazy as the after... as the... as the like secondary plot. I know it's not much, but please take this! And receive the clear bell, this is an, ex it's an item exclusive to Crystal, actually. Uh, there used to be a tower right here in Golden Rock City, but it was old and creaky, so we replaced it with our radio tower. We dug up that bell during construction. I heard that all sorts of Pokemon lived in Golden Rock in the past. Perhaps that bell has some connection to the Tin Tower in Ecrotique City. Ah, that reminds me, I overheard Team Rocket whispering. Apparently something is going on at the Tin Tower. I have no idea what is happening, but you might look into it. 
Okay, I better get to go to my office. Alright, bye-bye, director. And yep, that's it. Oh man, I just saw that Pokeball. I can't believe I missed that. Oh look, we've got some guy back here now. Uh, do you listen to all music? Oh yeah, Pokemon music. <laughs> uh, sometimes I guess, I like Pokemon Lullaby. And we get an Ultra Ball for our trouble. It's not worth it. We can easily get those things, seriously. <laughs> yeah, but once we finish off Team Rocket, we basically get can get all sorts of prizes. Oh yeah, my little savior, will you take this in my thanks? Another pink bowl? Ah, uh, and my item bag is full. Freaking brilliant. I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch some of the egg recons. I got I want to get those for Kurt, but whatever. Alright. Alright, let's take the pink bowl. I already have one for uh Ferret Jason, but whatever. It's just right for Pokemon that no normal type move. An extra one wouldn't hurt. I mean it's cute. We've saved everyone. Hoorah. Look at that. Nobody's sanicking now. Thank you, you're my hero. This is a token of my appreciation. Receive TM11. I believe that is Sunny Day. I'm... I'm... See? I knew it! I remembered! It's Sunny Day. I power up fire type moves for a while. I was like, hey, wait, is it Sunny Day? And they were like, yeah, heck yeah, I remember. We're recording to the cry of all Pokemon that have been found. We must have about 200 kinds. <laughs> I'm sorry. I listened to the radio when I was at the ruins. I heard a strange broadcast there. Yeah, if you listen to the radio when you're at the ruins of Elf, I forgot if I shown this off. Some very, very weird broadcast place. It's a bit creepy. Hello, Konus. You know, I love Pokemon. I built this radio tower so I could express my love of Pokemon. It would be nice if people enjoyed our programs. Yeah, I do. I First time I played Pokemon Go, I used to listen to the radio all the freaking time. It's so cool. Of course, now they have TVs and whatever in the Pokétex, the, 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 the end gear, the... <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Feel free to look around anyway. The director's nice again, just as he was before. So now we pretty much unlock all the radio tower. You can go wherever you want this place. You can listen to radio anywhere. Tune in! And now, bonus password is back. Heck yes! Oh yeah! Uh, not now. Yeah, you can't actually tune into bonus password on T-Rock and took over the tower. Lullabies on the radio may make Pokemon sleep. And there we go. I love Mary from Pokemon Talk. I only know just well, I only know what she sounds like though. Haha, <laughs> I met her. Ben is a fabulous DJ. His sweet voice makes me melt. There we go. We're finally done with the place. Okay, I might as well try my luck for this one time. This one time. Let's see. I feel lucky today. I I finished off Team Rocket. I feel really lucky today. Nope! Of course not. It had to happen. But there we go. Team Rocket's finally finished off. And we just have one gym bed to go, one gym bed to go. If you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Crystal with Golden Spot, do feel free to hit that like button, comment down your thoughts, and share this video. And next time we're going to carry on with the plot, I guess. I forget what is actually next. See you guys.